How much you bench? That's what everybody wants to know. How much weight can you push through the ceiling with the bench press? Well, the bench press can be an effective mass builder for your chest area, but most times it's not, and it's usually uh, very negative on the rotator cuff and the shoulder joint. And that's because people go too fast, they don't do a couple things with heavy, that we are gonna teach you today, and they go too heavy of weight. It's not about how much weight you lift, it's about how you lift it. So this is our barbell bench press for chest done properly. Okay, we don't have a regular barbell bench press uh, rack here, so it's gonna look a little funny for me getting into position, but hopefully if you're already doing the barbell bench press, that you got a regular barbell bench rack. So one of the key issues is that people grab the bar too wide. Um, I'm about 5'10", I got an average uh, length of arms, and I go just a little bit right outside that, that line in the bar right there, so it's a little bit inside a 90 degree angle in my elbows, okay? Oh, that's a nice ab technique right there, laying down slow with that weight. Okay, now here's the key. A lot of people will bench press down, ah, ah, because they're just concerned with how much weight they're lifting, and their, their legs are sort of like this, but we got to get a really solid base of support by bringing our feet back towards our head, and we arch our lower back off the bench slightly, and our chest is open, and our shoulder blades are lower and closer together. Real tight grip with your fist. Two seconds down, breathing in. One, two, pause. Exhale, ah and I'm visualizing that I'm squeezing my fist together and melting this bar to touch in the middle. So I feel a constant, isometric, unique squeeze on my chest. Breathing in. Ah. Down, breathing in. Now I'm making a noise, I get sort of some slack for it on our uh, YouTube videos, but really it's very important to make sure you let that air out. And if it's grunting or groaning, if you don't mind making that noise, uh, that's fine. Women have a hard time with that, but at least let that air out slow and smooth. Breathing in. The whole time, squeezing the fists together, coming down, pause, blow air out, squeeze those fists together, coming up. I'll do four more, breathing in, my chest is open, the lower back is arched out, and my shoulder blades are lower and closer together, breathing in, breathing in, last one, down, breathing in, three little subtle taps, and three, and two. Ah, let that air out. <sighs> now, I know what some people may say is, is arching the back off the bench safe? Yes, it is. It aligns your chest properly so that you can just allow the chest muscles to do the work more properly than just having a flat back. But the key is that you, you don't want to ever get the buns to come off because if you feel like your body's trying to gain a mechanical advantage and doing this on the last couple reps, which is very, very common, you gotta really be disciplined, you gotta really anchor your tailbone back down, keep your feet, your buns, and your shoulder blade really solid to their, their surface at the end and the completion of this set. There you go, it's a great chest movement if you do it the right way, it's the barbell bench press. All right, now Doc's gonna demonstrate this one for us. But before we do, I wanna give you a therapy movement that has really helped me and a lot of my clients, especially 30 to 50 year old men who have been active their whole lives playing athletics and that have had a little bit of the, how much you bench mentality, they have some issues in the rotator cuff. I hear it all the time, I'd say with three quarters of my clients that come in. So what we do is, before we do uh, any chest movements at all, I call it the scarecrow in the garden rotational stretch. If you have a mirror, it's real, real helpful on this one. And what you want to do is you just want to rotate the arm here, and you want to come down, and you want to make sure that you keep that elbow pushed up towards the ceiling. That's why we call it the scarecrow in the garden, because the tendency is for the elbow to drop. So you want to force that elbow up as we come down to the bottom, and just visualize that upper arm bone staying parallel to the floor, and that ball on the head of that upper arm bone just rotating in that ball and socket joint does a couple things for us. It starts to warm up that capsule a little bit so that when we get rather intense with our chest movements, it's, it's already warmed up and it's safer. And it also starts to get some blood flow in there. And blood is the river of life. It really starts to heal. And if Doc or anybody doing chest has some uh, minor uh, issues in there, some fraying or some slight tearing, um, getting that blood in there on a consistent basis, you could do this every day for 10 to 15 repetitions, has a tendency to start to help uh, heal those minor issues. So very important that before you get intense on chest movements that you do some kind of stretching, that's a great therapy move to really get some blood in that rotator cuff and warm it up. So Doc's gonna demonstrate the barbell bench press now. 
He's already getting into position. He's bringing his feet back. He's getting his lower back arched out, chest is open. There should be a little bit of a gap right here underneath the small of his back, which there is. I'm going to bring it over the top for him. Let him get a nice grip before you give him the weight. All right, Doc, here we go. Nice, tight grip with your hands. Down, breathing in. Pause. And just like dumbbells are coming together, even though the hands really don't move, He's visualizing that he's melting that bar and his hands are coming together. Breathing in, and he's going to slow it down just a little bit coming up. Two, and one, good. You don't want to explode up, huh? Breathing in. You want to get aggressive on the inside, but the tempo stays the same on the outside. That's correct. Breathing in. Real tight grip, slow. Slow and squeeze them together. Excellent, good. Even squeeze them together a little bit going down. You'll still really be able to feel that chest getting focused on. Good. Down, breathing in. Doing great, Doc. Exhale, slow. Now, a spot I'm going to give Doc is instead of grabbing the bar, which most people do, and sort of throws everything off, breathing in, an advanced technique, nice and slow. Exhale. It's just to help him push those elbows towards the middle and up a little bit. Breathing in. Let that air out soft, Doc. Make a paw noise. Good. All right. This is the part of the set that matters most right here. Breathing in. Squeeze them together. Good. Down, breathing in. All right, let's do two more. Down, breathing in. Squeeze those fists together. Give me two little taps at the bottom. And two. And squeeze. All right, here we go. Last one. Squeeze them together. Going down, breathing in. And two. And squeeze them up nice and slow. And relax. Got it. Excellent. So that rep range for Doc was pretty high. Um, I didn't count him, Doc. Did you? It was probably around 14 or 15. No, it was perfect. I was, yeah, that last one was failure. So. Good. How did it feel? It felt good. I, was, I couldn't have done another one. It would have been impossible. Did you feel a pretty good focus yeah. through your chest muscles? Yeah, especially as you're squeezing it in, it really changes the... Uh, did you ever uh, do barbell bench press in the past? No, I usually use dumbbells. Dumbbells, which, which is probably a better choice, but you can get some benefit by giving the chest muscles something different with this straight bar. Sure. Um, but it's real important to let go of your ego, lighten up the weight, get your body positioned the right way like Doc did, squeeze those fists together, and you can start to give those chest muscles a different feeling than even those dumbbells. Absolutely. All right, and get rid of the how much you bench mentality. All right, good job. There you go. Now go make it happen.